Hi everyone, Tim here with TC Home Inspections. Today's topic is crawl space insulation. Well, this is one of those topics that makes us an, as an inspection company just scratch our heads because we see problems in crawl spaces all the time. There was an old way of thinking that has kind of gone away in certain areas, some areas it's still with us, but the old concept was basically this. When you insulate your crawl space, you should purchase fiberglass batting, you should put that batting between the floor joists, just let it stay there, friction fit. And then you should also have crawl vents and you should leave those crawl vents open. And the idea was that the moisture that would accumulate either on the inside or the outside of the home would just magically pass through. Thus, the crawl space would remain dry and you wouldn't have any problems. But this is what happens in a crawl space with fiberglass batting with vents. That insulation that's tucked in between the floor joists just starts to fall. And as it gets wet, the moisture pulls it down. And in a short period of time, you have very little insulative value in that crawl space. The other thing you have is because the crawl vents are open all the time, you have moisture coming and going. You have different temperatures inside and out. So you have a condensation problem that's continuous and you are attracting moisture problems like mold, ultimately decay, and in the worst scenarios, you're actually attracting rodents that live in that insulation and also wood boring insects. And that's what happens in so many crawl spaces that we inspect. The worst thing is that people have no idea it's occurring. Their home can be beautiful inside, really well maintained, but the crawl space is an area that we just simply forget about. And in reality, it's one of the most important parts of your home. So what should take place in your crawl space? How should you insulate that crawl space? Well, again, the old way is you insulate underneath the floor, but that's not the way to do it. Think about your home as a structure with an envelope, an outside skin, if you will. The best way to insulate a crawl space is to have your insulative material on those foundation walls to extend up to and over the floor joists to the bottom of that flooring. And if you do that, you will have a much warmer, drier crawl space. The other thing is that you have to do if you buy an older home or a home where they put crawl vents in, you should, you should seal those crawl vents right off. Keep them sealed closed, don't open them at all because you never know the temperature changes at any time and you will have continual condensation problems, continual moisture in your crawl space. Now, in my opinion, the, there are better forms of insulation and the insulation now that I'm going to talk about will not allow moisture to pass through it. And there's two types that we see on a regular basis that really help form a great crawl space. The first one is spray foam insulation. And when we see a crawl space with spray foam insulation all the way up to the rim joist, sealing everything off, you have a much, much nicer crawl space. The other insulation that you can use, and it's not quite as good, but it will still work much better than fiberglass batting or cellulose, is rigid foam insulation. Usually two inch thickness is preferred, but that should be ad adhered to with constructive adhesive right on those uh, walls to, to keep that, uh, those walls warm and prevent air from passing through it. So those are really important things that you can do to help insulate your crawl space. Again, it's not the ceiling, but it's the walls that need the insulation. And the other thing you should do is think about an encapsulation kind of method where you're sealing everything off in that crawl space because the ultimate goal that you have is to have the humidity in that crawl space very similar to the humidity inside your living space above it. So the other thing that people often will overlook when they insulate a crawl space is keeping moisture out from the, from the floor. And if you have a dirt floor in your crawl space, we recommend it completely be sealed, it be covered over with a minimum of a six mil thick vapor barrier and that vapor barrier should extend at least halfway up your your crawl walls and taped off so you're basically sealing the entire crawl space and if you do those things you will find your home is much warmer 
you will find that you don't have a moisture problem anymore because you're preventing the moisture from getting in your, your home. And then it's going to not be as um, enticing for uh, rodents and wood boring insects and those kind of things, which will ultimately cause a lot of problems too. And whenever we see fiberglass batting or whenever we see any type of cellulose in a crawl space, we see a crawl space with problems. So that was the old way of thinking. And I wanted to make this video because over the weekend I was in Lowe's, our lo one of our local big box stores. And I ran into one of my contractor friends and he happened to have a cart full of fiberglass batting, rolls of fiberglass batting. And I said, what kind of project are you working on? And he said, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insulate a crawl space for a friend of mine. And then I spent the next 15 to 20 minutes explaining to him why that's really not a good thing to use as far as insulated material in a crawl space and that I would really recommend a rigid foam board or spray-in foam insulation to really help keep that crawl space warm and dry. So I hope this is helpful. A few very important things we've talked about here today, but these are just things that we run into weekly. And it, like I said, we scratch our head because people can live in a really beautiful home and below that home, they have a damp, moist, road infested crawl space that sometimes they don't even know exists. So listen, I hope this helps. Um, these are things that people can take care of really simply um, and, and really have a much nicer home to live in. Well, this is Tim with TC Home Inspections. I hope this is beneficial, kind of food for thought, if you will. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know if you have any questions, and I'll see you on the next video.